Hey, it's us, Valerie, Terry, and Sean, and Jaspri. The same people that made the wonderful poster you were just looking at. We're here to educate you about trilobites. Before we can do that, we must discuss our fossil record. Our fossil record is the collection of fossils and remains from organisms that existed before us. These organisms may have gone through evolutionary change and succumbed to environmental pressures or natural changes. The fossil record allows us to better understand the history of life and helps us draw a timeline of our geology. The fossil record helps us trace evolutionary changes throughout time. So where do trilobites fit into this database of organisms known as a fossil record, and why do we choose to talk about them? Trilobites first appeared in a vast fossil record in the early Cambrian period, approximately 520 million years ago. They did not disappear till the end of the Permian period, about 245 million years ago. The exact reason of the extinction is yet unknown. Their existence spanned the entire Paleozoic era. This was right before the Mesozoic era, which was dominated by the dinosaurs. Trilobites were part of a remarkable contribution to the development of complex life forms which gave life to the species that we know today. So here we have the grand question. What exactly is a trilobite? Well, trilobites are the first known arthropods, which managed to conquer the vast marine environment. They are an incredibly diverse class of arthropods characterized by 20,000 known species. The actual name trilobite means three lobed, which already paints a clear picture of their typical morphology. The meaning of their name attributes to the exoskeleton's three lobes, the axial lobe and the left and right pleural lobes. Trilobites vary in size, with the smallest being the size of 3 mm, but can grow to upwards of 30 cm. However, the typical range is between 3 to 10 cm. Typically, their hard exoskeletons are easily preserved in the fossil record, and are often the first to be discovered. This is because their exoskeletons are rich in minerals, especially calcite. Here we have a typical image of a trilobite. The body is composed of three major segments, the cephalon, the thorax, and the pygium. What's interesting is that their thorax allows them to enroll into a condensed ball formation, which is an interesting defensive mechanism adopted by these creatures. One of the most interesting aspects about trilobites is their eyes. In fact, trilobites were the first to develop a sophisticated visual system out of all species, which happens to be the oldest preserved eye design. Their eyes are composed of compound eyes, which are characteristic for arthropods. Compound eyes are composed of repeating units of lenses. Each lens acts as a separate visual receptor, which allows various species to better predate and prey. What's even more intriguing is that over time, eyelessness became prevalent because of a prevailing evolutionary trend. This was seen only by a few trilobite groups who lost their eyesight, which could have been due to environmental pressures that existed in their time. For example, it is thought that species from the order of Agnostina developed blindness as a predominant trait due to the living environment, which included the deep layers of the ocean where no light even existed. So how did these little critters live in the earth and flourish in the times of developing new life forms? Trilobite species showcase an incredible adaptation to their environment, which predominantly led to their impressive and elongated survival. They were able to take on different roles depending on their needs, while some were predators, others were scavengers. Their habitat was entirely marine and could be found in reefs, in the shallow pits and deep depths of the ocean bed. Some fed on plankton, while others developed symbiotic relationships with their sulfur-eating bacteria. Their methods of survival were astonishing, spanning from their ability to enroll to their cognitive abilities to conceal themselves before predators to their ability to use exoskeleton as protection. Their advanced visual systems and defensive mechanisms ensured their continued survival till the mass extinction of the end of the Permian period. So why, do you ask, are the trilobites so fascinating to learn about? How are they connected to the world of science, and how do they help us piece together the history of life? The existence of trilobites lasts for the majority of the Paleozoic era, roughly 300 million years. The distribution of similar fossils today proves the theory of continental drift. Remember earlier how I said these creatures lived in the deep sea? 
Well, when India broke off Antarctica and collided with Eurasia as hypothesized, it puts the trilobite fossils well above sea level as the mountainous Himalaya region formed. Now remember their eyes? Well, these eyes were the earliest well-preserved complex visual system that we know of. Their vision is widespread across crustaceans, insects, and arthropods today. Additionally, they gave us a better grasp on the theories of punctuated equilibrium and calculating the rate of speciation. The trilobites are a unique fossil group, ones that will be studied for a while and will likely bring forth many realizations about our history for a while to come. I hope this video was informative and for more scientific information, refer to our poster. Thank you.